Hello, I'm Brian Mark Weller. Welcome to Today in Missions. You know, after Jesus rose again, he gave us one final commission. This is it. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That's Matthew 28, verses 18 and 19. Jesus' will has not changed since he spoke those loving and challenging words of purpose. As William Booth once declared, we must go straight for souls and go for the worst. Together, we surrendered to this Great Commission call to evangelize and disciple as many as possible, especially those who've never heard Jesus' name. By God's grace and power, we're impacting countless lives in the process. God's Word is our motivation, the Holy Spirit is our power, and God is our provider. I feel tremendously thankful for devoted ambassadors like many of you, those who take Jesus' Great Commission seriously and do everything possible to fulfill His plan. But tragically, many Christians have instead become bound and distracted by the world. They're focused on building their own comfortable kingdoms, not God's. They feel content to give God their leftovers instead of their first fruits. They care little for the unreached in the 1040 window, and any of us could easily fall into the same spiritual slumber. To stay ablaze for God, we must regularly contemplate the life, teaching, and sufferings of Jesus Christ. We must remember why Jesus came, to seek and save the lost, that's Luke 19.10, to proclaim liberty to the captives, Isaiah 61.1, to announce that he who believes and is baptized will be saved, that's Mark 16.16. 16. He came to forgive sins and to give eternal life. Then how can we withhold our lives from him? And how can we withhold his message from almost 3.4 billion unreached souls? As Oswald J. Smith once said, the supreme task of the church is the evangelization of the world. Do we truly believe that? The apostle Paul asked, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? That's Romans 10, verse 14. I plead with you to pause and reflect on those words. Brothers and sisters, we are God's senders. And right now, God is raising up native ministers with a passion for Jesus, a burden for lost souls, and an overwhelming desire to reach their unreached neighbors with Jesus' glorious gospel. And right now, God is calling us to send them out. We send them out through our prayers and our finances. Yes, while many of us pray, come Lord Jesus, God calls to us, go, send church. God urges us not to forfeit our responsibility to fulfill the Great Commission. Brothers and sisters, let's be honest. Many of our priorities won't matter at the judgment seat of Christ. The material things we've acquired won't matter. Our social status won't matter. Our financial legacy won't matter. All that will remain is what we did for God's glory. Did we live for Jesus or ourselves? How did we love God and others? And how did we reflect Jesus as the light of the world and the salt of the earth, the ambassadors of Jesus Christ? In light of this, let's refuse to be procrastinators. May we never say, I'll obey God's call one day. Instead, let's live daily to fulfill Jesus's words. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. That's Matthew 24, 14. As missionary C.T. Studd said, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Yes, he is risen, and we are sent. It's time to live for eternity. If you'd like to get involved with helping us share God's hope to unreach peoples, I encourage you to go to sharegodshope.com. Thank you for tuning into Today in Missions. Hey, I'm Brian Weller with Message Ministries. Has this video inspired you? Do you think others need to hear this message? Please let us know you're watching. Like our video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click the notifications bell. And that way you'll also help others to see our content. And don't forget to check out our website, sharegodshope.com, where you can learn all about our missions work worldwide. God bless you as you share God's hope.